Welcome back to the Benning Report. It's not just our injured soldiers that need rescuing from the battlefield. Machines sometimes become casualties during conflicts, and that's where the M88 comes in. And when the M88 goes down, well, our Ron Andrews explains how they are now coming to Fort Benning for their own recovery, thanks to Fort Benning's Directorate of Logistics M88 Reset Program. That's right, Susanna. The M88A1 is the Army's medium recovery vehicle that's designed to tow and repair large track vehicles like tanks, Bradleys, and Paladins. And when the M88 wears out and needs repair, it's sent here to Fort Benning to get reset and sent back out to the fight. We're saving the government a lot of money by having this program here. Monday through Friday, the south end of Lawson Airfield is a hornet's nest of activity. And the ITT crews with the M88 Reset Program do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. We run a below depot level reset program uh, for the Army, uh, which entails getting vehicles out of theater, which is Iraq, Kuwait, get them back here, do a PMCS, and get them up to 1020 standards. Once we receive them here at Benning, we go through them basically from the track up. That's power plant removal, being engine and transmission, final drives, wiring harnesses, everything else from auxiliary power unit to hydraulics. All the suspension components are replaced to either new or like new condition. This isn't your run-of-the-mill vehicle maintenance shop or an ordinary workload. These vehicles and their parts are massive and require big tools and maximum safety. The vehicle itself weighs approximately 56 tons, so that should tell you that everything that they change or replace on it is very heavy. you got to be careful. You know, because if you get somebody there that's not paying attention, can be easily hurt. And we thrive on our safety around here. These mechanics not only get the job done, but they do it under any circumstance. You have to be able to work in the heat and the cold. You know, we work outside, so you have to be able to adapt to all the weather. This program resets six vehicles a month, fields them to our troops faster, and saves the U.S. Army quite a bit of money. The cost to purchase an M88 brand new is, is $2.8 million. For us to turn an M88 around and get it back out into an organization going through reset here at Benning saves them roughly 500 to a million on each M88. These crews work hard to ensure that the M88s are of the highest quality and guarantee their work, which is inspected at every stage of the process. By the time the equipment goes out here for fieldings, it's had at least six set of eyes on it from the QA side. Put out a quality product to the soldier out in the battlefield because when they're out there in, in, in the war, we can't have a piece of equipment break down on them when they're out in the field. And at the end of every hard day's work, these mechanics know that all the blood, sweat, and tears they put in is ultimately for our soldiers who use these vehicles downrange. It's a hard job, but I love my job. I mean, it's gratifying to be able to do a job like this just for our country and the guys in service and to make sure it's going to be right. When you're in this job, you have to put yourself in the soldier's shoes. You don't, you don't want to send nothing out half. You know, the soldier lies are in your hand out here, so you want to make sure everything is up to code, up to standards. Once you put out a good product, you feel that you've done your part as far as bringing another soldier back home safe. Once the M88s are complete and back to 1020 standard, they get their final inspections and are shipped off to their units. We put out a quality product. Since Fort Benning's M88 reset program began in 2007, the crews here have repaired and fielded over 200 vehicles, getting them back into the hands of our soldiers so they can complete their mission and get home safe. Ron, do the M88s come directly from theater to Fort Benning to get reset? Yes, and it's mainly due to the op-tempo of the war and the extreme conditions in the deserts in Iraq and Kuwait. If units want to get more mileage out of their M88s, it's important that they pay attention to and do the routine maintenance that's required on their vehicles.